All right, let's do another one. Here are the Townshend Acts. How many acts are the British going to put on there? How many taxes? Because the Townshend Acts are a set of import taxes. If you're going to bring stuff into the colonies, you got to pay for it. And they were issued by Parliament in 1767. At their core, the Townshend Acts were very simple. They, the Townshend Acts imposed duties, taxes, on British China, glass, lead, paint, paper, and tea imported to the colonies. Now, Benjamin Franklin had informed the British Parliament that the colonies intended to start manufacturing their own goods rather than paying the duties on, ben on imports. Now, this violates the entire idea of mercantilism, which is where colonies should not be allowed to do that. The whole point of the Navigation Acts is to say you can't do that stuff. You can't make stuff in the colonies. You have to buy stuff from England so that England gets rich. So Benjamin Franklin goes to the British government and says, look, we're tired of these taxes, so we're just going to start making this stuff ourselves. So these particular items were chosen for taxation because Townshend, the guy in charge of uh, coming up with these acts, thought that they would be difficult for the colonists to produce on their own. Oh, you think you can make this stuff yourself? Or you want to you wanna start uh, growing your own sugar and uh, you want to start all, all the stuff that the, the Stamp Act taxes, you just want to wanna make your own paper and, eh? Ah, oh, okay, all right. Okay, um, uh, how about we just put taxes on stuff that we know you can't make? That, that's the whole idea of it. He estimated that the duties would raise approximately 40,000 pounds with most of the revenue coming from tea. Tea was the really big money maker. The Townshend duties went into effect on November 20th, 1767 close on the heels, right behind the Declaratory Act of 1766. And if you remember from our previous readings, the Declaratory Act stated that British Parliament had the same authority to tax the American colonies as they did in Great Britain. They were saying that Parliament has the ultimate taxing authority, not the local governments where the 13 colonies citizens actually got to vote. By December, the two widely circulated documents, the Townshend Acts and the Declaratory Acts, had united colonists in favor of a boycott of British goods. With the help of the Sons of Liberty, which, if you remember, was a secret society of American business leaders who coined the phrase, no taxation without representation. Nobody noticed this. 24 towns in Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island agreed to boycott the British goods in January of 1768, with the exception of necessities such as fishing hook and wire. New England merchants agreed not to import British goods for one year. New York followed suit in April with an even more restrictive non-importation agreement. So New York was late, but when they did join in, they said, we're not importing nothing from England. They're not making money off of us. That was from New York. You're not getting nothing out of us. We're New Yorkers, yeah? By 1769, more than 2,000 British troops occupied Boston like one would a conquered city. Great Britain said, you don't want to pay our taxes? How about these soldiers that we've got living in the colonies? The ones that you're paying for because of the Quartering Act. What if they sit in your city and force compliance? A large number of soldiers, considering that only 16,000 people lived in Boston at the time, Skirmishes between Patriot colonists and British soldiers, as well as colonists loyal to the British crown, loyalists, became increasingly common. To protest taxes, Patriots often vandalized stores that sold British goods and intimidated store merchants and their customers. Tension between the colonists and British troops finally boiled over on March 5th, 1770, when British soldiers shot into an angry mob, killing five American colonists in an event known as the Boston Massacre. 
wonder what we're reading about next. Little did the colonists or the British soldiers know that across the ocean on the same day as the British, uh, as the British uh, uh, committed the Boston Massacre, the then Prime Minister of Great Britain, Lord North, had asked Parliament to repeal the Townshend Acts. So, the Townshend Acts, anger built on top of the Quartering Act which was anger built on top of the Stamp Act, which helped contribute to rising tensions. It's all building and building and building. 